All right, everyone, welcome back to Undertale. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Everything's stuck to the table. I don't... Squeak. I just saved. Oh, hello again, sir. It's an odd-looking telescope. Well, I don't get to look through it. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Well, yeah, sure. I'm waiting to see something. Something gonna scare me? What the heck? Oh, it's gonna be like his... Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. What? What was that even looking at? Uh, or uh, do I even want to know? Okay, so the box. Might as well get these... Well... Uh, I'm not, I don't gain items that much. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Alright, what's up here? Oh, hey, the snow cone guy. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Um, uh, sure. <laughs> you get a punch card. Oh, I shouldn't have taken it out. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Aw. Okay, well, we're putting an ice cream up. Punch card, nice cream. Oh, this is so cool. So glowy. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Oh. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about your clothes? Well, a friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already, and because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course. After such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe, and I didn't lie. Being friends with everyone is easy. Oh. idea. Now I don't have a dusty tutu on. You walk into Mold Small. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Okay, this is easy. Oh. It's like pollen. You wiggle your hips. Mold Small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Wiggle your hips, they wiggle back. Um, can I can I spear him? I can. Oh, got nothing from him. Well, I've already killed things, so I might as well start killing more. There aren't that many enemies in this game. Well, not aren't that many random battles anyway. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Yes, I will. See now? Oh, I got a tutu. A tutu ballet shoes. Okay, well, I'll use those, because those are better than the banana. 
So, a Dusty Tutu, ballet shoes. And even though you guys don't hear it, I swear I, the music just keeps getting louder. Oh, Washo again. It's going to fight you. What? <laughs> You're dead. Love increased. I don't get. There's no way it's love. You don't increase your love by fighting. How backwards is that? I'm passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. It's gonna be funny. It's gonna be funny. Okay. Well, that's all that is. I can just sit here the whole time. That makes it easy. Ba -ba I will laugh, however. Power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Okay. Hi. Hi, Tentacle. Please don't. Please, please stop. You assume it's going to be a tentacle? And it is. Hey there. Noticed you were here. I'm Onion Son. Onion Son? You knew. You're revisiting Waterfall, huh? Or visiting. It's great here. You love it. Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... It's okay. It beats moving to the city. I'm living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. And the aquarium is full anyway, so even if I wanted to... Uh, that's, uh, that's okay. You hear Undine's gonna fix everything. You hear? I'm gonna go get out of here and live in the ocean. Hey, uh, hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall! You never know what's gonna actually attack you. Hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Aw, let's kill it. Mercy. The northern room hides a great treasure. It's probably a lie. There's a piano here. Play it. Do this. Oh, I see. Well, what's the point? Okay, let's see here. A hunting a song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. I don't... I don't hear anything. I... I didn't hear anything. This power has no counter. 
Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. An incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. Why not? It's a statue. The structure of it seem dirty. Well, maybe I can help. Nope. Please take one. Sure. Neat. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. Key. Oh, I don't need to avoid those. Of course I don't. It's just a cool little... Cool little effect. Man, Andina's so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. I assume I'm just headed that direction. So one time we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his flowers. He ended up coming to school, teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undine came to school? She could beat all up all the teachers. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Interesting. Maybe I just crushed this little kid's world. Creepy. Atmospheric. No. Keeping the umbrella. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Mm-hmm. Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. God. I wonder if I could walk the umbrella all the way back to the box. I kind of want to try that. No, I kind of want to try that. Hmm. I'm gonna try that. Humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. Well, they couldn't be taken, right? Yeah, that's not really a war. Uh-oh. I'm wearing something different. I'm not the human. I'm not the person you're thinking of. God. Love it. I love it. Not the right way. This isn't the right way either. You tricked me. Ah, oh, God. I 
wonder if that was for le for earlier. The the skeleton telling me to change what I said. Oh, that wasn't fair. that brother on Full Metal Alchemist. Well, that's that. It sounded like it came from over there. Oh, you've, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. J. Beetle, huh? It's a nice name. Thank you. My name is... No. Interesting. Interesting. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Hey, it's like a little mermaid thing. Let's see if I can get behind any of this. Nope, doesn't seem to be the case. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through, fall into the bottomless abyss below. As you have to turn. Wow, that was a, that was a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, bike. Torn wheezes a hunk of despair. Can I get it? Nope. Waste of time. Beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. It's a cooler. It has no brand. It shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Sure. Can I take... I'm carrying too much. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Hey, it's the thing! Who cares? I knew it. <laughs> Think you can hurt me? I'm a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too. Until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable, it spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. So I gotta scare him. Love the music. Turning it up again. Oh, I love it. Okay, dummy. Let's let's talk to him. Talk to the dummy. Doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Woo! I love it. Oh, it hits him. Ow, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey. You forget I said anything about magic. See much for conversation. Okay. He's doing an armless ska dance. What? Attack 30, defense, yes. Because there it goes, physical attacks will fail. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. Mad dummy is bossing around its bullets. So I assume I can't attack it. Nope. Foolish, foolish, foolish. Even if you attack my vessel, you'll never hurt me. I'm still incorporeal, dummy. Boom! Gotcha! Come on, say something!
maybe I can use a stick. Nope. Somebody's getting cotton all over the dialogue box. What's that mean? Astro food. Ribbon. You want to ready sock yet? Yeah, I guess I'll that'll avenge my cousin. Got him one time. Is it go to Axelfell? I already knew that. Get him! There it is. Whatever, whatever. Hey guys, dummies, remember how I said not to shoot me? Well, failures, you're fired, you're all being replaced. <laughs> now, you'll see my true power, relying on people that aren't garbage. Dummy, bot, bots, magic missile. Oh, it didn't hit him. How easy. Well, I'm gonna use an item then. See, that's, that one's tougher because you don't really know turns into a mirror then turns to you with the same expression. You don't know what's going to really happen. It's so tough! No, no way, these guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. He's just gonna kill himself? Oh! He's not gonna kill himself. I'm out of knives. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me forever. Wow. What the heck is that? Acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Boop. Oh, my ghost friend! Sorry I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi, oh no! <laughs> well, I'm gonna go head home now. Um, feel free to come with if you want, but no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in case you, you don't. Aw, oh, he's so sad. Alright, that's going to do it for this episode. I didn't quite do as much as I wanted, but Undine is no longer chasing... Well, no, she's totally chasing me. We'll see what happens next episode. Thanks for watching.